We get a package, guys. What's going on guys and welcome back to Star Wars Does It All and I'm extremely excited to be reviewing these shoes because I've been eyeballing these for a long time. The shoes that I'll be reviewing are the E10 Secretary Bird Colorways by Enda, a company that is proudly made in Kenya. If you're wondering what's up with the metal, I'll get back to that in a second. Before we get started talking about the actual running shoe, let's talk about the company Enda, a running shoe that's fairly new compared to the running game out there and you probably haven't had a chance to learn about it, so let's talk about it. The word Enda in Swahili means go, and Swahili is the native language of Kenya, the place where these shoes are proudly made. Enda was declared as the very first Kenyan running shoe, so when I first saw that, I, I just knew that I had to hop on these. I had to get my hands or my foot in these shoes. Saucony, Brooks, Asics, Adidas, Nikes, you know these brands, but how many of them can you say are carbon neutral? When you make any shoe, you emit a lot of carbon into the air contributing to the greenhouse gas effect that we see in global warming. As any company, to receive climate neutral certification is a big deal, but as a running shoe, I'm thoroughly impressed. The algorithm pushed their advertisement to me on Instagram and I reached out to the company and I wanted to work with them effective immediately. They were really nice, so they sent over a pair and that's what we're gonna be opening today. So, let's get to it. Oh yeah. Now, what I really like about these already is the fact that they come in a reusable bag rather than it just being a box. So that's that's cool. Oh man, I'm super excited about this. Super duper excited about this. What you're looking at is a colorway based off of the Secretary Bird, a large bird of prey endemic to the African region, and they are known for these colors. Fun fact. When it hunts down its prey, it actually stomps it to death. Oh, okay, all right. Oh, my knee. Yep. Oh, how did you... But you're not here to learn about birds stomping out things. You're here to learn about the shoes. So let's get started with the newly upgraded upper. It actually has a very nice, breathable fabric, easy to breathe. Um, I took these on a run, and my feet did not overheat. The eyelets of the laces are green, red, and black, representative of the Kenyan flag. And on the opposite side, you have the Enda logo, which is a spearhead. This shoe features a four millimeter drop, which is a flatter shoe compared to some of the ones I'm used to running in, which is about a seven to eight millimeter drop. And the E10s boast an extra grip underneath the midsole by the arch area to give you that extra grip on your run. Under the forefoot, we have 18 millimeters of extra rebound EVA rubber to give you a little spring on that first takeoff. And one thing for guys with wider feet like me, the toe box is slightly wider than a normal running shoe. Back to the bottom shoe, you see the Enda logo and the words Harambe, which means all put together, or simply just put unity. They sent me a size 10, so my shoe would weigh about nine ounces, but on average, it's about 8.7 ounces if you're eight and a half in men, or a size 10 in women. Now, the climate certification was the first amazing fact about this company, but the thing that you should also know is that they're vegan friendly. There are no animal byproducts when making this shoe. Uh, that. Now, I did take the shoes for a spin, so this is my take on the Enda E10s from a half marathon runner's perspective. Now, disclaimer, I am a runner that likes to run in cushioned shoes, like the Saucony Endorphins and the Brooks Run Happy Collection. Some other runners don't like those shoes that I just mentioned because they're too cushioned for their run. These shoes would be perfect for the runner that likes to, as they say, feel the road. Though it is a firm shoe, the stiffness of the shoe didn't bother me so much, I did start to feel some discomfort on mile two or so around the, the platform of my foot. But again, that could be because I'm used to the shoes that have that extra cushion there because that's just the type of runner that I am. But if you are, like I said, the runner that likes to feel the road, this may be the shoe for you. With other shoes in the past, one issue that would always happen is that my shoe would sometime pull the sock down or my ankle socks would kind of roll down underneath my heel and the rough part of the back of the shoe would just tear up my heel. But I did not see that being a problem with these shoes at all. I think actually the, the heel was probably one of the most cushioned and comforting parts of the run. So way to go into on that. I also get very, very hot on the run. So 
Uh, you can actually look through and you can see how breathable this shoe is. So I don't think that overheating would be a problem at all for my foot, which is a plus for me. If you wanted to check out a pair of Indas, you can right now just go to the link down in my description. A portion of the profit that Inda makes from each pair of shoes that they sell actually goes back to help fund different Kenya community initiatives because that's the kind of company that they are. All right, you waited the whole video, it's time for you to learn. So this is the Golden Gate Half Marathon that I just finished. Check out that video right up here and you can see how I knocked out this half marathon. I beat my old time. So thank you so much for everyone that's been supporting me on this journey. Back to the shoes. I'm really excited to see what's new from Inda because I mean, from the time that I've received these shoes to the time that I'm recording this video, I can see that their Instagram's already starting to flow with new ideas for shoes and things that they're doing in the community. And me personally, I just feel really happy to support another black company, even if it's across the water. If you haven't yet subscribed, please make sure that you do. All you gotta do is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on future videos. Thank you, Enda, or should I say Asante, for sending over these shoes, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.